Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and this week I'm going to show you how I built this awesome walnut wall art to go above my desk setup. And if you haven't already, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe below to help support me, as these videos take me a really long time to make, and I won't be able to continue making them unless I'm able to make some money on these videos eventually. Thanks again, hope you enjoy the video. I started this build by picking out a bunch of scraps from this pile of walnut I have. Because this is a project for myself and I wanted to keep the cost down, I decided to glue up a bunch of pieces of walnut like a cutting board and then power carve it. As you can see, I didn't cut anything to the same length or even mill anything to the same thickness as I wanted to keep this abstract look that the wood was just glued together and then made into art. After I had all the pieces sorted into the rough length, I started laying out the pattern so that I could glue it all up. Initially, I thought the wall art was going to be a vertical piece, so I ended up having short pieces on the side gradually moving to longer ones in the middle. However, I made sure never to put two pieces of similar length beside each other so that I have more dramatic ends. After I had everything laid out, I glued it all together with Type On 2. And yes, that is a Type On 3 bottle, but there's actually Type On 2 in it. After I had cleaned up some of the glue squeeze out with a chisel, I started by going on Google Images to look for some inspiration of wall art. I was still set on doing a vertical piece at this point, so I found one I liked on Google Images and started drawing out lines using it as a reference. One word of advice I'd give is if you're only planning on using one disc like I did, you can't put the lines too close together as you won't be able to carve in between them very easily. I figured something like this would happen, so I ended up drawing on only half the piece before taking it outside and trying to actually carve out what I had. The carving was definitely a little difficult at first trying to get the hang of it, but I found the best way to remove material was to drag it along the wood towards yourself. I also found you could make narrower grooves by angling the angle grinder up and moving it left to right. After carving for a while, I ended up changing my design a bit because it was definitely too complicated and had too many tight spots that I couldn't get into. I found this was the best way, drawing out some lines, carving, and seeing how it looked before adding more lines around that and carving again. After finishing roughly carving the first side, I looked back at some of the designs online and noticed how crazy mine was starting to look, so I decided for the other side to keep it simple and just go with a simple wave along the one side. The last design choice I decided to make was to not carve the ends because I wanted to show how the piece started out with all different lengths and widths of pieces.
After carving, I got to the tedious task of sanding this monster. After trying for a while using a Dremel and hand sanding, I found the best way to sand this was using a sanding wheel that you attach to your drill. Another really cool thing that I saw online was to cut the wall art into pieces after you'd finished. Because of this, I liked the idea of cutting it perpendicular to all the wood pieces and having the piece horizontally. I ended up cutting the two end pieces to 16 inches in the middle to 12 inches because most of the pieces don't go to the very end. There wouldn't have been much left if I cut them to equal width. I finished the entire piece with four light coats of spray and lacquer before attaching it to two pieces of walnut with CA glue and wood screws. The last thing that I needed to do was attach it to the wall by attaching a small strip of walnut that the frame of the piece can rest on. As you can see, one side of the bracket I secured with the screw into a stud, and the other side I used a toggle bolt, except I forgot to put the bracket through the bolt before inserting it in the wall. After a little freak out, I just unscrewed the bolt and let the toggle drop to the floor in between the wall and just used another bolt. As always, thank you so much for watching this build video. I really enjoyed the power carving and think I'll be doing it in another project very soon. Definitely like, subscribe, and share this video if you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoy the beauty shots of this project as much as I do. Peace.